This is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 26, and the objective is to divide decimal dividends by two-digit divisors, estimating quotients, reasoning about the placement of the decimal point, and making connections to a written method. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the homework problem as my example, and this comes from homework problem number two and it's letter C. So we're going to divide and then check your work with multiplication. So um, first we're going to start out with estimating this problem that we have here. So we have 77 and 14 hundredths and we're going to divide it by 38. So when I'm going to do my estimation I have 77 and 14 hundredths and I round that to 80 and I'm dividing it by 38 and I'm rounding that to 40. So my answer is pretty close to the number two, okay? So now I'm going to set my problem up, and I have 77 and 14, oops, and there's my dividend, my divisor is 38, and we're going to go ahead and solve this problem, so... So I have 2 times 38, which gave me 76. The difference between 77 and 76 is 1. And now I'm on the right side of the decimal point. So I brought down my 1 tenth here to bring 11. Um, some of the students get tricked here, and they are not really sure what to do at this point. So I always ask them, well, how many groups of 38 can I make with 11? And the answer is 0. So I said, OK, that's fine. Go ahead, put your 0 up there. They could multiply it out to. Um, do 0 times 38, which is 0, and finding the difference and still have 11. And that's fine if they need that extra step. If not, and they just brought their 4 down to get 114, that's fine as well. So um, now, as you can see, I'm on the right side of the decimal, the decimal place, and I have to find out how many groups of 38 I can make. So I'm, that answer is 3. And this one divides very nicely, and the answer is 2 and 3 hundredths. So to check the answer, we're going to do the multiplications, very similar to what we were doing with the whole numbers, but now we're working with the decimal places. Okay, and I'm going to put my decimal place in. I did uh, jump a step here. Some of our students may still be doing 203 in the word form hundredths and then getting 7,714 hundredths and then having to write it in standard form. I just did this all so I can have my answer in standard form. So the correct answer um, for the check is 77 and 14 hundredths, which is the same as our dividend over here. So that means I know that 200 or 2 and three hundredths is the correct answer for C. Moving on to number five, question uh, A, it's part A, and it says the Aon Center in Chicago, Illinois is one of the world's tallest buildings. Built in 1973, it is 1,136 feet high and has 80 stories. If each story is of equal height, how tall is each story? So uh, let's do our target sentence here. And that reads, each story is blank feet high. I noticed that my unit was feet, so I'm going to keep it that way. So um, one of the things that I always mention to my students is you can't always look at a word problem and just think you're going to use all the numbers. And this is one of those instances. So they have a number here of 1973. So that is the year. It has nothing to do with the problem at all. I don't even need that information. So, you know, I... Back in the day, we used to say, oh, just look at the numbers in the word problems. Those are significant. Here's a, an example where there is a number in the word problem, but it's really not significant, and I really don't need that information at all. So I'm just going to cross it right out there. So what I do need, though, is the 1,136 feet. And I have to divide that by 80 because it's how many stories. I could do my estimate. So it's 1,000 divided by 80. So that information I'm going to use to solve my problem. All right, so I have, uh, I already know that this is going to be 1. Bringing that 
it down. 336. And for this one, I ask myself, okay, so I have 336 and I'm dividing it by 80. So I have about 33 tens divided by 8 tens. So that's going to give me about 4 tenths. So I have 4 times 80, which is going to be 320. I'm finding the difference of that is 160. Now I'm going to add my decimal point and I'm going to add a zero. Remember that doesn't change the value of my dividend at all. But if you notice, I bring down my zero and I have 160. And this divides evenly. Um, so 2 times 80 is 160. So bringing, carrying out that decimal point um, helps with this problem. So each story is 14.2 feet high, or 14 and 2 tenths high. So again, uh, insignificant information I just took right out. Um, you can go ahead and use your estimate. My estimate was pretty close. I don't really know if that was too helpful this time around. Um, doing the division problem really wasn't too difficult. But extending um, pass that whole number to make the decimals. That's where we're going with the students, so it was very helpful in this situation. So each story is 14.2 feet high is the correct answer.